I would get frustrated with Jay for wanting me to come. I was like, why can't you just fuck me and come? And like, why do you have to worry about me so agreed, much? Agreed, agreed. Uh, sometimes this is I'm crazy. like, you I like shit, to be just bad. used because I'm like, I don't even, th- I'm going to come? Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, you hear that, ladies? Sorry, don't, don't worry that. about it, ladies. Where's my lens? Ladies, don't worry about it. I'm sorry. I just, yeah, I, I, you have to come first. There's not going to happen. I guess I'm a piece of shit like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you yes. what, the oh, happiest God. kids in the world to me by, no, uh, uh, you know, per capita seems to be these rich kids who end up in my building, who their parents pay for them while they go to, to, college, to college to just fucking party yeah. in my building. Well, see, what's crazy about that is- <laughs> I, I said there's, now there's party. It's, 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 my, my, my building, the apartments are expensive. These oh, it's college the best kids time of can life. Do, but there's five of them living in an apartment and they just- Fuck shit up, and they the best. seem super happy. They do it's seem the super happy. Time of they life. all seem dark. Yeah, but see, like for me, it was the drinking was a little more sad because I didn't have any money coming in from family. <sighs> so you're just like dead broke. No, right. That's what I'm saying. You're when, you're, getting, when, you're, when you're, you're getting genuinely up, broke, you're yeah. like when you're getting fucked up because it's like sure it's fun, but also <laughs> it makes sleeping on an air mattress in a uh, windowless room better. I didn't hit. It really I does. didn't hit too dark until my early 30s when you're like, I think I'm a fucking dark, dark, weird failure. Yes. Yeah. Like, I think I'm failing at Isn't this. Isn't that funny? The 30s is the hangover of the 20s where you're just like, oh, fuck. Oh, God damn. I wow. thought that was a great idea. That's profound. It really is. Because I look back on my 20s, and I'm like, it was blissful. I was broke and like not healthy and hung over all the time, but I had the best time. I had the best time getting fucked up. Yeah. I really like, if you're getting fucked up currently and still drinking, I always like to say, just have some fun because you're going to get to a place where you can't do it anymore. Yeah. And I look back and I'm like, I had the best time and I won't ever go back to it. It's, and it's, I, I had a I brief time. It. I have it's a always... very brief time of like, uh, enjoy it, drinking heavy and stuff like that. Yeah, it was like three years ago. Yeah. It was, uh, I really think it should have been in my teens or, or was early it, 20s. Did you have the great time, but, though? Uh, no, because no. Christine was drinking, too, and she's not that great when she's drunk. So yeah. it went haywire. Well, but yeah. but, that, was my, but anyway. that was my only time. She doesn't drink now at all. Yeah. But like that was my only time really drinking. I didn't do much more. I had my daughter young, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Man, just, I really lived hand to mouth for a while. Do you was agree drinking. with me? Uh, it's fun up until up until it's the not end. fun, and then you quit. Yeah, 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 yeah The yeah, end yeah. is awful. That's stops, why you quit. When it stops being not fun anymore, it gets awful. But and people like, who have guilt over drinking around me sometimes will be like, "I, I is it weird?" And they're, but they're still having fun with drinking. Yeah. It hasn't become a sad thing. I'm always like, "No, li- live I look it. at, I watch, be in the moment. I watch Burt Kreischer, and I'm like, "I wish I could drink again." That uh, that there's <laughs> like a docu- I don't want to drink with Bert. He's there's like one fun- of the people that I don't want. Yeah, there's a, there's a he real does have heavy, fun. heavy documentary about the guitar player from Corn, the little guy who left and came back. Yeah, but uh, he talks about in that documentary, the lead singer from Corn said he was one of the first ones to get sober. Yeah, and he said when he got sober, they were like worried about like partying around him still and everything. And he said he was like, no, I loved it because I just he was I used to really enjoy the act of like cutting the lines and everything for everybody. I would like still prep it for everybody. Yeah. I, just, I just can't do it. But yeah. you guys fucking yeah. rock out. If it's not causing your lives to fall apart, go for it. And as soon as those people like people get worried about getting sober that you're you're gonna lose all your friends, but what happens is you just like see what you thought you were having fun doing and then you kind of see it clearly and you're like, oh this isn't as fun. And then you just naturally don't want to do it. It's not like you're like, I long to have fun like that again. Yeah. Do you yeah. agree? Yeah, I walked by this bar and I always used to romanticize it for my drinking, like my hard drinking days. And I'm like, it's just such a great neighborhood scummy bar. Yeah. And then you walk by now and you're like, whoa. Now you get your joy watching uh, grown men in costumes fake fight. Oh and my God. that, that's healthy. And let me tell you, <laughs> that that has no psychological reprimands at all. Dan, Dude, find your lens. Wrestling, <laughs> wrestling's better than drinking. <laughs> Pivot. Move. Uh, wrestling. Yeah, dude, I don't know. My life drinking was a lot of fun, but it was also very destructive at the same time. I was I was just like, you know. You were, it was physically destroying. Physically destroying me. Like, you would have, if you would have been drunk at that event that you're talking about being joyful at that has an, a bunch of acronyms I don't care to remember. The WWE, Monday the Night WWE, Raw. If I would have got hammered last night. T- C- is it another? No, acronym? WWE, no. Monday oh. Night Raw. Oh, okay. But I, that was what you were at. Yeah, I was at Raw last night. If I would have gotten drunk last night, that would have been the best for the first hour and a half. Yes, but then you would have And then I would have been obnoxious. And you would have remember became... it as well, much. Again, what I just yeah. always argue about the drinking thing that I just don't fully understand is the... It, the day after the next, if it's the same thing, the same mistake, yeah, 
day after day. Groundhog like, day shit. Said, Christine's explained it to me as as best she can, and I don't think it's a bad explanation, although I just don't get it. When she, I was like, if you know four drinks is where you get, like, it's a fun night. We're having a really fun night. Then by, by the time you're at three and a half and you see four closing in, right. you're like, I'm going to get five, six, and seven. And but, the but, 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 not, gonna... but here's my thing. I'm, 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 what I don't understand is, but you know for sure, as last night and the two before told you, Five and six are the ones where you puke, but you're right here. And still, you believe, goes, no, but tonight, she's saying that basically you're saying, that, no, but tonight it's just going to maintain that different. buzz. And right. I don't understand that. I'm like, I don't it's know. It's because the person in your head that's supposed to stop you at four g- gets drunk. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> it. Yeah, my mind doesn't that do that. That is exactly it. Straight up, your inside brain is hammered, and it's like, go smoke a cigarette, come yeah. back, have two Live more. Live your life, dude. Ha- yeah. Who do, you, gonna... who do you, dude, that's my favorite. That was my favorite drunk thought of all time. I'd always be like, dude. Who's telling you not to do that? <laughs> you should do it. <laughs> well, most of my step up and fucking do it. Most of my drunks have been <laughs> with make you. Sense. Christine, most yeah. of my drunks have been with you. Have I made do you think though like I would say my mind like my, my brain function of, of what should happen next yeah. does stay sober. Yeah, Wouldn't you agree very, with that? It's a bizarre thing and Like I never I never lose was... like I would never have a thing like I said I've never I can't wrap my brain around the idea if somebody came up to me and was like, "Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to leave." I would immediately assume I am the one who did something wrong, and I would be like, "I'm sorry, did I fuck up? Am I drunk? And I fucked up?" That's how I would react. To, even if, I, if I'm slurring words, I'd go. I would assume it was me. I would never be in a place going, "The fuck! I don't have to fucking go anywhere." Let me tell you, let me tell just, you where drunk Dan would be. I can win him back. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what I, I, I hammer Dan would be like. But I think I, I think like, that would be me too. Name? I'd be like, "What's your name, man? Why are we doing this? What's up? Are you okay? <laughs> that's you need a good to leave." Point. You, you want to get a Listen, beer? Listen, who's telling me not to? What who's, was your argument? Yeah, I'm going to do it because who's telling me not to do it? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> You're such a drunk, like, such a drunk motivational mantra. mantra yeah. well, you know what? I wake up the same as I went to sleep, breathing and walking. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Here, then I'd wake up to go work a dose, and I'd be like, I think I'm going to throw up and everything is sideways. I put, I put my pants on like everybody else. Pants yeah. on. I go, I go to sleep, and that's where I dream, and where I dream is where I plan, and when I plan, I execute. Mine's like, life is short. That's always, like, yeah. just that, I mean, which Life is, so, is short is such that take another shot. It's just mm-hmm. carpe diem, FOMO, like, all of that. Just, like, why are you just, just and that's what I do with everything in life, though. Anything I want to convince myself to do, I just go... We're, gonna, we're all gonna be dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, Like everyone who could maybe judge me for this is gonna die, and then the people that they tell are gonna die. Like, there's gonna you be know how no... easy it would be for me to become 500 Who pounds cares? in my life if I lived like that. I, I go, oh. who's? Why would I not have it? <laughs> when I'm on my deathbed, I'm not gonna think about all the cheesesteaks I didn't eat. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be full of cheesesteaks, so I won't think about cheesecakes. Mission yeah. accomplished. We were talking earlier about the not on the show before the show about the things that a guy will dial back to if it's not going to happen sexually. I said I've, when you get to that point where later, immediately after you come, you go like, that was ridiculous that I even asked for that thing to happen. But I'm, when I'm So for a good example, if you, I remember a time I said I was hooking up with a girl and I made her come quick, I think, eating her pussy. Mm-hmm. And then I thought it was time, but then she had like, I don't know if it was like we shouldn't be doing this or we, we shouldn't just, be doing like, this here. She just like her head was clear and then yeah. she's just like, she, um, the empty I don't balls. like you. The same thing, <laughs> whatever it was. But she was Not like, you, but you know, but I've yeah, been there. Whatever it was, she didn't want to do the thing. And it's when you dial back and you're like, we just. And she's like, I guess you know you could jerk off if you want, and then you'll be doing that. Can I, it's like, can and I then t- you start making the the, the, the negotiating. Like, can you kind of see a titty? Can you grab the base or if something? I, oh if God, I, just I the things. If I rub my cock for. against your calf, is that cool? Just like, your, <laughs> yeah. I, did you shave your? If I just won like two or three little. I would. Ne- I'm not in the feet a little bit, but if a girl goes, the only thing that's going to happen, you have a rager, and I've already come. You can fuck my toes. I think about fucking those toes. Uh, yeah, I don't give a like, shit about feet. If she was like, you can TSA wand me with your boner. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, yes, yes. yes. And, then you, and you tap it on her hip and you go, yeah. what's this here? What's it? And she Keys? Goes, she goes, you're not moving today, boss. And I go, all right. <laughs> Why keep were you in a relationship with a girl who didn't it's want to? Really, it's not I was, no, these, oh, these just, I don't think these are ever relationships. Oh, this is just a girl. Yeah, yeah, you made cum. And then uh, my example I don't was, relate to coming right away with a guy. Uh, I just don't relate to that yeah. in a hookup. And then I also don't relate to me. Me, like, 
I I have this sense of obligation to make a guy come that I would I don't relate at all to being like uh I mean I definitely have been That's great. I love the, the devotion. It's like, "Don't you understand? Guy, She's the best." She's like Rambo. Well, she has one mission. Uh, yeah. <laughs> to make a man come. And I, even if you were like, "Can I jerk off?" I'd be like, "Yeah, that's all. I don't have to do anything. You just want to jerk off on me? Great." Like that is that's or a, just But you've something. never been approached that because you wouldn't make a guy just jerk off in front of you. I mean, there have been times where I've hooked up with a guy recently where I'm like, "You have not earned me to touch your dick in any way. You've done nothing to me and they and they want to come and I know that they're not going to be able to make me come and so I'm, we're kind of just at a stalemate where they're like, touch my dick. Why do you know that you can't with a new because person? Because they're right fingering me and it's worthless. Oh, yeah. And they're just, there's so, there's Overhand? no amount of co- coaching that is going to, it's just, they're not saying the right things. I'm already just, I, it's What's the most coaching with a fingering you'll hang in there for? I've made this joke. On, I've made the joke on stage so much about a guy fingering overhand. Just say where most some girls hot say shit. lots of guys think they go in overhand fingering. No That's way. Very bizarre. Uppercuts for uppercuts. knockouts. Uppercuts. Of uppercuts. course, uppercuts. uppercuts. Shallow. For by the way, shallow uppercuts. Yes. Yes. Yeah, but Give this a guy was already fingering <laughs> before is, I was even wanting it. I think. Problem <laughs> is, you hit that shallow. You hit the shallow uppercuts. Problem is, afterwards, you might be jerking off to a tip. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, you do. Yeah, that's a good point. Have you ever? If you, you do too well, yeah. has a man ever made you came and then you're like, "Well, we're we're good here." No. Okay. No, but I will say I've been in that predicament of like, I don't want to touch your dick. I'm not gonna blow you because you haven't earned it. You you you're just you're not. But I do want you to come because I want you to have a good experience and your dick is hard and I don't want to leave you feeling unsatisfied and and I want to have like a fun weird sexual experience. So I'll be like. Just jerk off. I'll watch or whatever. Or man, um, is that hot until recently, you come? <laughs> and then you're like, oh, so you're like, yeah. I was a total asshole here. Yeah, yeah. you just no, come. And you're I like, don't think it. Fuck. I think guys are weird about it now because of all the Louis stuff. Like, oh, I don't want to jerk off in front of a girl. That's weird. I'm like, no, okay. it's awesome. Do you think before that they but were not, like, you, you would know, come and you go, do I get an FX show? Yeah, not unwanted. But if I ask you to, that's it's hot. It can be so hot. And so this guy in particular. So we were like. We were making out and stuff. I knew that he was not even going to do anything to me that How would did you make know that? me come. Because um, he wasn't saying the right things. He wasn't Jacob's even taking notes to. so we can keyword search all this for a Jacob chat goes, session he, later. Jacob goes, did he walk with his shoulders back? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Uh, <laughs> Nikki, I like that Nikki cases. He has the posture of a gentleman. I like that Nikki cases, a, like, cases dudes, like, you know, like she knows like how to like, pickpockets, you know? She goes, I could tell by the way he walked. He had a heavy wallet. <laughs> <laughs> she was walking in. I knew I was dry. I was going to be dry for the whole night. Bring back my old timey music, Lou. He just what if I start talking like this again? Like me enough to k- give a shit. You know, like he yeah. just wanted to come. That was what this was about. So you and felt that. Was just... I just knew, yeah. I, and I, I just didn't. And you still feel obligation to have them come? I didn't want them. To, the, in this particular instance, I didn't care if he came or not. But I was going to get something, a story out of it. Sure. Or at least like just something weird sexually. Because I like to be a little bit deviant sometimes and, and throw my, and I'm sober and so it's hard for me to be as deviant as I used to be. Yeah. And so it was like, I was in like a leotard. It's a long story, but I... I he, Original dance moves? Did you guys... Jacob's... Uh, de- and, details, please. <laughs> Go forward. Was there a plie bar in the room? <laughs> we were in a I'm going to lose my shit. Trailer and like daytime... Hooking up wasn't, I wasn't, it wasn't, it was, maybe I wasn't going to come because I was like not comfortable because a yeah. PA could have walked in or what, you know True. what I mean? It was knock like that on kind a, of thing. Knock on a trailer is a real boner killer. And he was just like, can you do, what do you, and he, and I don't even know that he wanted me to do anything, but I decided, I didn't even want to jerk him off through his pants. Like he didn't deserve my hand, I felt. Okay. I don't know why. And also I just don't feel that confident in hand jobs. So in I hands? think I also avoid them because I'm just like. Good for you. Christine, what's your confidence? Better to, on... better to be. Uh, I know to, to what be I'm not good at. Yeah, if you better yeah. feel think you're good at it because a bad one will make you. Uh... Yeah, I just. You so don't want to I... fumble around with it? Fumble the ball right when you get it, I so to speak? I legit just took my, I was straddling him and I just. Like went like this with my shin, like I just kind of like. Oh my God! You did the calf move. I was joking about. I'm not joking. I did that, and he didn't come, but it was kind of hot and funny. Yeah, it's skin on skin. It, it wasn't even his skin. It was through his boxers, but I just did that for a while. Yeah, but you don't know what it is. It's Any the chances pressure. Umbros? <laughs> oh, we were talking umbros. Oh, in a couple umbros. weeks. <laughs> we we're saying those. That's those are the shorts those are of those. Those are coming back. That's the if a girl shin yes. fucked me. 
I, in my umbros, I'd be like, keep going. Oh, yeah, that's a great hand job or out, yeah, Over outside the pants. pants. Hand, yeah. That's a great fabric for that. Oh, it's the perfect one. And old Italian uh, man jumpsuits. Yes. That's a... Suede. <laughs> suede is. Suede. I don't know. It's suede don't rip your goddamn dick skin off. No. Suede. Suede. Suede soft. For women, it's like um, what? the best thing to get fingered through, Christine. Like. Basketball Denim. shorts. Uh, best thing to finger through. Christine's going to answer her pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, if you can finger right through it. <laughs> like you don't want it to like soak through because you're going to get wet. So you want it to be a little bit like a, of a coarser material, like a corduroy. All right. I don't know if I've ever just done over the pants oh, I stuff. I love hey, it. <laughs> while you girls are syncing up periods, Dan thinks it would be okay oh. to get jacked off with suede, and he's arguing that it's a soft material that would feel good on your <laughs> dick. It will not. <laughs> It will not. It will rip your dick off, Dan. It's like jerking over the baseball mitt, you, you psycho. You suede that like changes color when you like rub your hand oh, across oh. it. You're talking oh, about sorry. velvet. You I think you're both talking about velvet. I mean velvet. Or oh, I'm velvet. sorry. I got. I got gator cock. It's all coarse and hard. Jesus fuck! What is happening to your dick? I go, you guys don't jerk off. You are from Colorado. I go. That we call that a little Fort Collins handy. He goes. I'm gonna go jerk off. Pass my naga hide. <laughs> my, you guys got some raw leather. My friend, oh, never mind. Andrew Collin. There you he... go, Dan. <laughs> Fucking wrap that around your dick, dude. Oh, you give yourself a good beat. Why don't you stick your dick between those two suede flaps and pump idiot. away? I'm an idiot. My You're going to rip your pee hole open. Is there anything to this? My friend, the guy who comes out on the road with me, he's on my show all the time, Andrew Collin. He, um, he thinks... Uh, he needs... He's jerked off with his hand for so long because he's been single that and dry he doesn't like use lube. So like... Me either. Now he's having sex and stuff what? and he's like, it's all too wet. Like I can't... What? I need more. I need drier vaginas. This is crazy. First, first off, does that make any you, sense? Because guys you dry are really. Jerk? I dry jerk. Yes. Okay. Wow. We're onto something. This what? is opening up a whole new thing. That's that's real. What do you use? Uh, lotion or lube? I mean, to, to pull out lube to jerk off is <laughs> yeah. downright ridiculous. Why is it ridiculous? <laughs> it's awesome. It's Why ridiculous. would you do that? I, I treat lube, myself I, like a brand of lube, like a little a warming jelly. <laughs> <laughs> I got That's a tube so of it. To I got, treat yourself right. Yeah, I got a tube of it at CVS on the road. I was like, I'm going to beat to this. I'm you have an beat. English breakfast tea docket. next to you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sleepy time tea. I do some English brand muffins in the morning, <laughs> and I have a nice loop jerk. Why not, dude? I found it at the CVS. No, you absolutely should. If, if It's it, a good hotel jerk. It's like a treat. A you loop? bring it on the road with you? In his little, little dop kit. Yeah, little, he's got a little compartment dop, in the, the shower a, hanger. A, that's where I found it. Thing. I found it on the road when I was at a CVS. I was well, like, you keep it hooked onto your bag like it's Purell? <laughs> Yeah, I, go, I go through, I go, you can take a spritz if you want to get Hey, man, I'm going to hit the can. It looks like our flight's delayed about a half hour. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Shim Shalabim, here we go. <laughs> you want to? You want to? You want to get another? What do you do? He's jerk dry like a fucking, I fucking old fucking fisherman. I fucking grab my dork and I pull on it. Yeah, that's. <laughs> and then no by the way, no lubrication at all. Of course, here's what'll happen when you're jerking off. There's gonna be a little sad, like you know, the yep. garbage Indian tear, and I will, I will take the thumb across that, and I'll work that you'll right use, around, you know, the rim of the fucking use your helmet. Own pre Dude, wow, uh, you're like, yeah. a, you're like a person that has a fresh water well. Like that's how I've you been drink? judged a lot for my things. I said after I, I'm a pretty sexual person, and I'll go for it. I've had. Someone was defending me online, but on the SDR show one time, I said, "After like, what do you when you come? What do you like put it in the tissues and yeah. do all that stuff?" And I go, "No, generally, uh, where I jerk off is in a hotel before I'm gonna take a shower, okay, or at home, like you know, somewhere between uh, ten minutes to an hour before I take a shower." And I go, "No, if it's generally, it's like first of all, it's not I'm not blowing like fucking porn loads on sure. anything." I go, "I'll just kind of like go like I, I said, I'll wipe it on my goddamn thigh and." Get ready for the shower. And everybody's like, oh, man. I'm like, who gives a fuck? No. Yeah. I mean, I've who had it all shit? over me, so that doesn't. Who cares? Who cares? As a woman that, like, you know, Christine's girls definitely get it all over them. Christine's definitely walked to a store next to me with <laughs> cum all over her body <laughs> in some way. I mean, Absolutely. I taught uh, English with cum all over me. <laughs> <once>. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, Jacob, write that down for right. me. Yeah. That's going to my spank pack. I like <laughs> that one. Yeah, you taught, you taught uh, fucking ver verb congregation. Yeah. You taught adjectives. 
and you had fucking drag cum on you? Teaching a summer school to Korean students because Korean parents yeah. don't send, let their kids. And they bukkakied you. Yeah. <laughs> they love that yeah. over in Korea. Yeah. <laughs> my I was son, on a lunch break and I my, came back. My son tells me that you smell like cum. <laughs> I, had, I had to meet the teacher who smells like cum. It's oh, a little man. breachy. That's yeah. really gross. Man, I shouldn't have admitted how did you, that. How did you find that out when you got home? I just, re- I, I don't know if I actually had cum on me, but I was in circumstances where I did not shower after having a, a night of filthy sex and I would go into work. And there was one time on a lunch break where I gave a guy a hand job and I remember going back to work being like, I am, like, I felt I had a skip in my step because I'm like, what a slut. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you are a fucking what, whore. What a winner. Who do you think you, you're going to go teach children after you just, like, a def- I let a man defile Touch them all on their little flat faces with your cum, with, oh, your, fo- with, your, with your salty dick hands. Yeah, yeah. I was kind of salty dick fun. Oh, dude, that was a, a waitress at the uh, cellar one time dead to me as uh, like joking but dead serious and she goes uh how i want to sell tell your name off there. everyone knows her she's i great. know who it is yeah i already know you who know the story. story she comes over like laughingly and, and she puts like her hand over my like face <laughs> and nose and i was like what it? and she goes she goes i just jerked a guy off and then i could when she said that the smell kicked in we were like that is the salt of <laughs> yeah co- cock salt oh, it's it, it, it's it it's spit and fucking dick salt yeah, it's that's the smell it. cock at the salt. gym guys will work out next to me on the treadmill and once they start sweating like whatever cum is on them starts like you know warming up <laughs> like uh, essential oils and then it just starts misting through my section of the gym and i'm like there is a cum scent a, strong, Someone... a warm cum scent someone in this town but someone... it's not just cum the it's eucalyptus like towels. it's not just coming it's like spitty dick it's, it's like dick hands. it just yeah it's so funny I think she it smells like up. dirty sex didn't she just walk up and put her hand on your face and say smell like dick and start oh, laughing no she went. said to me so she foul. goes i just jacked a guy. she goes i just jerked oh. off a guy oh my god oh that's God. so funny yeah well, I couldn't even be that mad. It was so funny. It's so funny. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I can't get mad and, at that guy. That's fucking hilarious. Because f- she's not lying. It oh smell. I was like, God. she I definitely love- jerked off a uh, dude. You instead got of this- shaking a person's hands when I've just washed my hands and they're wet, I won't go. I just, I just, I just jerked a guy off. Sorry. <laughs> That's so funny. But every guy, every guy here for sure has gone to a store. Also, conversely, with well, I don't know. Everybody here might be naked fuckers, but I've definitely had like a girl. Uh, juice, dude, and, and when you get to the store and you start seeing it, just turns white later, like yeah. you're oh, drying, yeah. Yeah. like, like you're drying out ketamine. It's like toothpaste. Like, tooth, yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. It's like toothpaste on the corner of your mouth. Yes. You don't realize it's there. And oh you're like, yeah. Should we make a girl call? Yeah. Uh-huh. What, 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 dude? I had. One. Oh, also having a beard like this. Also, you will definitely. Oh have, my god. But just getting to go into a store and being like, just going and you and just go. It's just that it's soaking wet is what it is. <laughs> yeah. like, oh wow. Dude, I had a funny one where I that uh, when I worked at KFMA, shout out KFMA Day in Tucson. Doesn't exist. It's a real thing. It's not even a real thing at all. This girl came to the radio station and I titty fucked her in an office. And then under I, a Janie Lane warrant poster. It's pretty awesome. It was, it was actually under, it was under a hoop, it was under a hooba stank poster. Hell yeah! <laughs> and uh, I came and we cleaned it up or whatever. And I was wearing these like um, thin khaki shorts. And I went and my post cum had just leaked on me, so you could just see like a puddle of cum, like where more by like soft dick was or whatever and I just walked in and I was having a conversation with all these people in like the fucking cafeteria area and then I left and the girl I was with she was like I think it looks like you pissed your pants <laughs> yeah. and I was like they're gonna know that, that oh god damn it oh god damn it oh man I did which not which is worse actually this might happen to girls Piss. on a uh, this might happen to, uh, to women on a much larger level because one of the worst things too when you fuck and as soon as you finish fucking put your underwear back on as a guy yeah. sometimes later you don't realize that your like dick hole has kind of become like glued to the yeah. front of your ow yeah, of, like, it's, just like, it's just like a quick moment but when it pulls off it's like getting your eyebrow it's that one moment like, ooh yeah, like, it's, yeah. It's a, so I'm saying on a girl level it must some, does it ever get like where it's almost like, or just kind of like just there? wet no, not no. sticks guys, to it no we, we stay we, st- we keep it damp down there so, so I don't guys, think it has a chance to really you don't paper mache at all no. <laughs> it doesn't dry and then hook in? Yeah. Well, wouldn't you no. take your underwear off if they got too wet? Yeah. 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 Like, if your underwear get too wet, you just, like, throw them in your bag. Yeah. Do you ever go to... You throw the, like, them in your bag? Yeah. Get rid of them, you slob. Uh, what are you yeah. keeping them Wash for? Wash them and fucking wear them again later. Yeah, if they... Yeah, if you get, like, turned on. Do you ever get turned... Do you ever, like, talk to a guy and you don't even realize you like him until you go to the bathroom later and you're like, whoop, that was slick. 
Yeah. <laughs> really? That's no, I swear to God, we I'm don't like, get, whoa, we, what happened up there? And then I go, oh, yeah, that one thing turned me on for a second. That's so funny. We don't get delayed boners. <laughs> yeah, you just don't. like, you're you're like in a right. cab and you go, whoa, <laughs> yeah. whoa. It's Dan like was on fire fucking, today, huh? Yeah. Dan was, more, I guess he was more on fire it's than like I knew. seconds <laughs> between the lightning <laughs> and the, the sound. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's the <laughs> thunder and lightning. It was about three you miles go, away was when I was turned on. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. So 30 minutes ago, I wanted to fuck him. Someone up there oh. said something. Did we all learn that from Poltergeist? Well, oh, is that where that got started? That's where I heard it from oh, the first time. It was count the seconds between, you know, if it's getting further or close. My mother taught me that. Yeah, I feel like it was just like a... a... Well, your mother learned it from Poltergeist, mm. and she tried to pass it off like she was a philosopher. Stop it. <laughs> she was smoking a cob pipe. <laughs> She told, me, she told me that astrology is next to knowing the gold. Dan, I'm going to give you the only wisdom I have. She goes, Count between <laughs> lightning and thunder, yeah. and you'll know how close the storm is. For thermoses, use either screwdrivers or rum and cokes. <laughs> And lightning, you can count it. Oh, the advice from your parents, do you have to go to break? Yeah, we'll take we'll take our last break, though, and then we get to come back and go to the whole way. Well, my dad just recently called me, but can I just tell this quick Isn't story true? about yeah. um, parent, parental advice? Apparently you know, until Thursday, into... we play by our own rules here. Then oh. they change the system. We have to take hard-line commercials, Jacob says he's terrified. Okay, okay. I'll, when I sense that it's urgent, I'll, I'll speed it up. Okay. No, no, no. urgency here. We play well, by well, good now. Now. well, now I'm just going to really tuck into this thing. Yeah, Stretch it out. We don't take commercial and, breaks at all. NPR this shit. Um, you know the girl that just recently got into the wrong Uber and then was murdered? Yeah, yeah down in Carolina? Mm -hmm. Terrible. Yeah. Um, my dad... <laughs> you didn't have to disclaim with that. He goes, I'm against that. Yeah. I, uh, honestly, now. I think that it was really unfortunate. <laughs> I do want to say it's the most unlucky day of her life and the luckiest day of that murderer's life. That, exactly. uh, that a, a, a girl just... Uh, he, he happens to be a murderer. I don't think he sought her out. I think he was just driving through town. A girl got in his car and he goes... Well, I guess. I mean, Fuck. from his perspective, he really was like, I mean, fate really brought us together, Yes, huh? I mean, that's the thing. You can argue fate for all these things that you are positive in your life. Like, that's the reason. But a guy could justify murdering someone if he's like, you know, God, show me a sign that I should not murder. Like, if I shouldn't murder, don't give me a sign. But if I meant to, in his crazy brain, boom, there's a sign. What? Yeah. Anyway, my dad calls me the next day and is like, you heard about this girl? You know that I told your mom that would never happen to you. And I'm like... Okay, what's what, what? first of all, she was drunk. Okay, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but you know better. You know that my dad's only advice to me in, in self defense against men is if a man gets you in a car, and it is good advice, you gouge his eyes out. Just stick your nice. two fingers as deep as you can into his eyes because even if he crashes the car, you have a better chance of surviving the crash than you do wherever he's taking you. And it is like statistically accurate. That's a smart piece of advice. It is. The old glazer gouge. But you'll find, you the one right guy the you'll find the one guy whose eyes that you gouged out, he was taking you to this like beautiful place he built for you. <laughs> yeah. I've been in love with you and I've been writing you letters and I thought you corresponded. I am everything you've ever problem. wanted. And you go, was he handsome? You go, well, I think about it. When he had eyes, he was pretty handsome. Yeah. Steel, <laughs> steel gray <They> eyes. <laughs> Crystal blue. Oh, oh, God, that was the best thing about him. God damn it. And I could, I could smell the warm cum on him. <laughs> He's showing you the seven-story seven, lay, the seven treehouse he built yeah. you. Your dream, you know what? Now your that dream you enchanted it, dream house. I just, did love the way he used to look at me. <laughs> this is, this is I'll made never with, have that again. This is made with no animal products. <laughs> I mean, this, this is all out of the tree, this and it's actually ever it's good for the tree. Look, you have your little joke writing nook. <laughs> I, would, oh I would show you, but my eyes are guided <laughs> down because your father is a boxcar man. I'm gonna put my hand on your shoulder. Can you, can you walk me and assist me in the bathroom? <laughs> now, Nikki, it sounds like can you tell dead. me when I'm done wiping, Nikki? I'm sorry. I know I used to be very attractive to you, but now it sounds like. Can advice. you tell me is there poop on this paper? It sounds like. It sounds like. <laughs> that sounds like a, Nikki's advice her dad gave her over a can of beans by a campfire in a junkyard. He goes, "Now, you ever alone with a man?" in a car guy just uh, got his eyes out he's probably from the government or wants <laughs> I grew up in a militia sorry are you done with your pot of beans like when do you go for the gouge though that yeah. is the thing like when do you go okay? I was so many steps ahead I'm like how does this guy ever find out when he's done wiping that he doesn't have a woman who loves him <laughs> yeah that's a good point you've yeah. embarrassed him the rest of his life by gouging his eyes out and even when he's in sitting if he goes to prison for what he's done that's why I'm against violence against men who are violent against women. Yes. 
Good because stance. he could love you, you ultimately. Could. And why would you be hurting a man that would is doing this out of love? Okay, love. love. So just I, take it, bitch. I mean, you definitely <laughs> shut your mouth. You've definitely heard the world star hip hop rants of like a girl taking the thing to be like, if he don't beat you. Is because he don't care, <laughs> yeah. and they meet. There are so I dead. Know. It's like someone's telling you flat Earth with like a yeah. straight face. Yeah. They go, no, there's nothing kidding here. He goes, if he hasn't hit you, it's because he has no passion for Aww. you. And that's always great when you see. I cannot make Christine believe it. Broken women like that. She just calls it abuse every yeah. time. I'm like, no, I don't, I'm hitting you because I'm passionate yeah. about what you're doing. This food is cold. Yeah. yeah, I'm very passionate about I'm my passionate food being about hot. Your, I'm yeah. passionate about your culinary <laughs> skills. I feel like you're I'm slipping. Passionate. What if you have to cook for a lot of people one day? You won't know the timing of the but dishes. I just know that if I ever get murdered, my dad is going to be like, "She just didn't gouge his eyes out." Like that's going to be the story. It's not going to be. Or like... while they're walking him to the court in the courtroom, your dad's yeah. going to stand up and go, "Did she go for your eyes?" <laughs> you go, she did. And he's going to be like, "Or it'd be funny, oh, well, if you." <laughs> Sleep, my you angel. Tried. It'd be funny. Sleep if... forever, my angel. <laughs> you tried. Sleep, my angel. In the car accident, it'd be funny. In the car accident, uh, Nikki died, but that guy survived. And yeah. when he went to court, Nikki's dad went to court and showed up, and the guy walked in with the glasses. And, oh. the and he went, he went, she still got him. Yeah. Oh, my like, God. That's a God, great baby. ending to the story. Yeah. My baby got him. My baby oh. got him after all. And then he takes him off, and he has Jerry Orbach's eyes. <laughs> Because they were donated <laughs> through Gong Gong. <laughs> gong Gong. Full track suit. Can't do it. Oh, man. Can't do it. It's not a chance. Nick Bullen did one yesterday at the stand. That was the Shane's first. all about it, he said. Yeah. I can't. I couldn't. Oh, can't. Is Christine going to get soda? Well, well. I guess someone thinks they're better than everybody. Looks like the rats have fleed the ship. Yes, sir. It's what you think in a tracksuit. Yes. It's Mafi from TV's Billion. Hi, how are you? Dude, Five they're dollars. staring at us. We have to do a fake kiss now yeah. that they're, like, that they're yeah, watching. Yeah. Well, no, you go to the left. <laughs> I'm gonna get I'm looking at my shoulder. Hang on. Let me look at my shoulder. <laughs> Not everybody's watching, by the way. By the, way, the entire desk and everyone is watching, which is the best part. Uh, Dude, I looked over my shoulder. <laughs> if these two were looking, and the entire desk was like. Uh, that's I don't know. Content. For the first time in my life, I have no idea what to do when we walk in that door. I'll tell you what you do. <laughs> and everyone tomorrow forgets it ever happened. I didn't think that it's I mean, an entire got... glass window of everybody. Uh, that's why I took the back. Holy shit, dude. Can we blur face? Did you guys film the people inside looking? Everyone was looking. Damn it. I went over your this shoulder to take a peek. Also, I think I lost this guy at the <laughs> He's that kind of guy who goes, I don't want no queer Yo, shit. Yo, fucking billions in the queer shit? Yo. Dude, everyone's <laughs> looking at us. I don't know what to do, Dan. Yeah, I want to go in a different entrance. <laughs> no, just walk in. Can we go in from Del Frisco's? Yeah. I hate this. <laughs> this is why I would not be a good impractical joker. Yeah. I'd be so bad at it because I'm already like, can we leave? I want to leave. Dude, this is great. They are unabashedly staring at us yeah. hard. Yeah, let's just walk in and go to the elevator. I don't know what to do. do. My instincts are throwing you under the bus completely. I don't know why. Yeah. Go, That's why everyone is Stan Soder from Showtime Billions. You're going to shoot me in the leg when the zombies are coming? This isn't going to make it any better. <laughs> That's not going to make it any better. That's busted. You're busted. Um, come on. Please don't make me go to the desk. Oh, <laughs> I thought the thing wasn't working. Oh my god. You know what I like is that dude is just like sitting there staring. I mean like like a child of the corn. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. What's up, hey, buddy? What's up, Jack? How are you? Don't believe we hear about us out there. Yeah. <laughs> we're we're straight heteronormative. Yeah, you know men. what? You're right, just go that way. Yeah. I say just go that way. No? Okay. We're in trouble. I knew it. I knew where I love. Dude, that guy's like, hey, hey, that's the guy from Billions. 
what's he doing out there? They're probably like filming some behind the. Oh my god! <laughs> Queer it off! <laughs> oh my! Oh! Oh, they're both big. <laughs> so I imagine it's what a lumbery kiss. Yeah, I mean, I imagine at some point it's painful. For <laughs> one of the two, one of the grips has to hurt. I mean, one is given, one receiving. Maybe they both do it. Is that true love? You think it's a real tonsil hockey? Uh, he's going open mouth. He's in a sweatsuit. Did you guys get? You guys got him, right? Hi, how are hey, you? Sorry, you're welcome to your talk show. I got it. Yeah, like it's, this is how we pitch. <laughs> What's your year, yearly salary? <laughs> it's called personal questions Not in the enough. elevator. <laughs> <laughs> how many people are you seeing currently? Yeah. Are you an organ donor? <laughs> are you currently <laughs> cheating? <laughs> <laughs> Who should right be president? <laughs> no, this is good. We got a lot. Is Hannah Gadsby's special good? <laughs> what is art? <laughs> Is art like personal questions? Yeah. Is your clit pierced? Yeah. Okay. Is you your, can say no. Would you say your fa- your relationship with your father <laughs> is strong? <laughs> <laughs>